Hello YouTubers, this is a Geek Must Have with an ASCII Doctor Markup tooltip video. Sometimes you need to view your ASCII Doctor file, also known as ADOC files, quickly without having to use the ASCII Doctor tool chain over and over again. This video will show you how to view your ADOC files directly with your browser. Typically, when you edit an ADOC file, you have to run it through the ASCII 2 doctor utility, and then it generates an HTML file, which you then can open with your browser to view it. Now, if you make another change to the ADOC file, you have to go through the ASCII doctor utility and refresh the browser again, and you keep doing this every time you make a change. Wouldn't it be easier if we could take this ADOC file, and as we make the changes to it, they appear immediately in the browser without even having to refresh them. You can use any text editor to edit an ADOC file, even the venerable Microsoft Notepad. However, in this video, I'm going to use the better replacement for Notepad called Notepad 2. I'll put a tag to my video on how to install Notepad 2 in the upper right corner and in the description below. This is a sample ADOC file. Starts out with a header and some directives. And when this ADOC file is run through the ASCII doctor utility, it produces an HTML file that looks like this. Now, there's a problem here because as usual, my spelling is terrible, and evangelist is not spelled with an A, it is spelled with an E. So I will go over to the document, that's the ADOC file, and change the A to an E, and save it. Now if you'll notice, nothing has happened yet because we haven't run the ASCII doctor utility. So we'll open up PowerShell and we'll run the ASCII doctor utility against that ADOC file. And it's come back, but the spelling mistake is still there. That's because the last step you have to do is refresh the browser. And now when you refresh the browser, the change is there. So you can see it's a couple of step process to do that. There is an extension to the Chrome browser that's called ASCII Doctor Live Preview that allows the direct viewing of an ADOC file in the browser. In this example, the Chrome browser is being used and the ASCII Doctor Live Preview extension is also available for the Opera browser. I'm not really certain if this functionality is available with other browsers like Internet Explorer, Foxbase, or Brave. So let's install the extension. So let's search for the ASCII to doctor.js live preview. And we do, the very top link there shows it's a, in the Google Chrome store. So this is the Chrome Web Store extension, and we're going to add this to Chrome. We'll say we'd like to add the extension. And now it's been added to Chrome, and you can tell because there is a little icon up here in the corner that has an A on it in red, that is the ASCII doctor.js preview. There are a few settings that need to be set with the ASCII doctor, and by right clicking on it, we can click on options. And from options, it's giving us a heads up that we need to allow access to file URLs so that it can read files from our local machine. So to do this, we are going to click on the Chrome extensions link right here, and it opens up 
the live preview for the extension. And the things we need to set are allow access to file URLs. And we also want to make certain that the extension is actually turned on. That's it. So we'll close out the extensions. And we'll open up a new tab in the browser. We'll press the Control and the O key. And locate the file that is the ADOC file. And here it is. And you notice it opened the file shortly as a text file. And then the ASCII doctor extension translated it automatically into an HTML. So let's see how that works with the editor. There is a sentence here that says, make it simple to understand, teach others how to use it. It should be then teach others how to use it. And there should be a comma here. So this sentence needs to be changed. So we'll go over to the text editor and we'll say it must be learned, use it in the business solution, make it simple to understand, comma, then others how to use it, preach it. We'll save this file and then I'll it might have been a little hard to see, but it automatically re-rendered it, and there's the update. We didn't have to run it through the ASCII to Dr. Utility to change it. It just did it. Every tool that exists has some things it doesn't do well. Here are a few things that I've noticed when using the ASCII Doctor Live Previewer. Very large ADOC files may reload spontaneously or require manual refreshing. Include statements where you're including code from another file will not load the file and display it. It will display a warning message instead. And local video, flare, uh, local video files will not display or play. The ASCII Doctor Live Preview is an excellent extension for the browser to quickly let you preview an ADOC file. While it's not perfect, it is quick and very easy to use and will save time in editing ADOC files. If you want perfect HTML, then use the ASCII Doctor Utility, the Ruby Gem Utility, to generate the HTML. If you were entertained, learned something, or maybe even laughed just a little, press that like button. Leave me a comment with suggestions, requests, or even criticisms. I try to respond to any and all comments. Show your support by subscribing to my channel. Every subscriber that I get makes me smile just a little bit more. My goal is 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Please be one of those subscribers. I have a companion blog at geekmusthave.com where I ramble on about all things technical. Stop by and visit me. My email address is in the description below. Send me a message if you want me to show you something in ASCII Doctor to make your documenting task easier. I have other videos planned to show how to use Microsoft's Visual Code to the fullest with ADOC files and review my collection of snippets to make routine ADOC editing go much quicker. Thank you and have a good one.